to it. We, we, we back in the, under our old brand. Uh, we had just started doing some some drink taste tests. Uh, we had done a blind taste test where I wrapped up what turned out to be a can of PBR hard coffee and had John put it in his fridge for a couple days. You are not wrong. And, <laughs> and, and he revealed what it was. We tried it on the air. The results were mixed. Um, I'll just that I'll just put it kindly and say they were mixed. So so John's been waiting for his opportunity to get back at me, and uh, he may have found it right out of the chute. So John, let me ask, what are we drinking? That would be White Claw Hard Seltzer Raspberry Flavor. So this isn't really a taste test for you. It's really a here's a flavor I know that Joe believes he doesn't like and won't like i'm gonna make him drink it anyway i shared it with you because i thought it was uh magically delicious to steal a, a, <laughs> probably a trademark for his okay i'm sure that's it hold on let's uh, let's pop this open now i did stick it in the freezer real quick because the previously mentioned exchange happened less than two hours ago so i stuck it in the freezer it looks like it hasn't frozen so let me get a quick sniff a uh, strong berry scent, I will say. It kind of, I, I guess, w- w- when you when you taste something that's berry flavored, um, the the overwhelming berry tends to be raspberry, because this to me just smells like quote unquote berry flavored product of some sort. And I, I did say when you when you handed me the can, the only raspberry I like is blue and slush. Um, icy doesn't sponsor the show, but I think. Uh, I think we can mention them. Uh, that, that, that's that's my favorite raspberry. So I've stalled long enough. You're probably already halfway done your can. For I've had tell. two sips already. <laughs> All right, here we go. White Claw Raspberry Hard Seltzer. So the first thing that hits me whenever I take a sip of any sort of seltzer, particularly hard seltzer, is the seltzery part. You know, the, the carbonation and, and the wateriness. And now I just have an aftertaste of uh, cough medicine. Which honestly, like I could probably drink this to be polite, like in, in a party or if someone has me to, to their house, uh, a thing that, that people apparently are going to start doing now from what I hear, getting together and hanging out might become a thing again. So I think I could deal with it, but I don't think it's the can I would choose out of the cooler. Why don't you tell everyone, because I think right now this has just been me trying to stall and then talk about what I didn't like about it. Why don't you tell everybody what you do like about it? Be, be, be the, the equal time to my no thank you. I think it has a somewhat pleasant flavor, uh, you know, very s- summery beverage. Not my favorite of the White Claws, but I think still tasty. <laughs> what is your favorite of the White Claws? It'd be the Black Cherry. That's what I do. I like to mix the Black Cherry White Claw with a little uh, coconut rum. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, interesting is a word. Uh, generally, it's not measured in any sort of scientific way. So it's pop open the can, drink a little bit to make room in the can, and then top it off with the coconut rum. And um, yeah, interesting is a word. And that was, what are you drinking? Brought to you this week by Old Time Baseball. Some say a waste of time. Others say an incredible waste of time. Shout out to Conan O'Brien, a, a favorite of both of ours. If if you've if you've never seen the Conan O'Brien old time baseball skit, please go look it up. 